Hi, Dave with Align Therapy here again. Uh, I've been doing a lot of research reviewing over the past month, and I came across a, a, a research article that that was interesting. Uh, I, I, it's always interesting when I see one that's a systematic review or a meta-analysis because they look at multiple, uh, they look at many different uh, research articles and, and kind of come to a conclusion based on those. So this was one that came out in, well, in December of 2022 in the European Spine Journal. And the title is Effects of Schroff Method in Core Stabilization Exercises on Idiopathic Scoliosis, a Systematic Review and Meta-Analysis. So a lot of times I'll, I'll see these systematic reviews and meta-analysis and and it's kind of nice to be able to to review multiple articles instead of just one in, in at the same time. So that that's the purpose of this systematic review. Um, and so what's interesting, I wasn't able to pull up the full article with this, so I'm kind of going off of the the abstract. Um, they used 13 studies that that were that were involved in this, and. Uh, and they looked at the effect of the Schroth method and core stabilization exercises. And they said that it ranged from small to almost large as follows. The Cobb angle uh, was larger effect, angle of trunk rotation, the rotation in the back when someone bends forward, and then the quality of life. Uh, and then they said by subgroup analysis, Schroth method showed a larger effect size than core stabilization exercises. Um, so what that tells me is that the effects, of course, stabilization affects scoliosis as well, but the effect is much larger in the Schroth method. Uh, and it's interesting that they used the Schroth method uh, specifically to look this up. Um, so I was looking at this, uh, and since I wasn't able to pull the article, it's interesting that they did this uh, systematic review and meta-analysis and I would assume one of the the articles that was in that that review was a research article that came out um, in April of 2021 and it is titled the effectiveness of two different exercise approaches in adolescent idiopathic scoliosis a single blind randomized controlled trial so what this did is it looked at um, the Schroth method and core stabilization to, to see what effect there was. Um, and so kind of along the same lines, but I was able to pull the whole article on this. And it talks about the approaches to treating scoliosis. It talks about core stabilization and trying to get spinal stability. So in that group, they weren't specifically trying to correct for the scoliosis curve. But they, um, but they were trying to stabilize the spine and get more strength and more stability with that. Uh, I think it's it's a good um, it's a good article. There are only 28 subjects in this, which doesn't give it a ton of power, but um, but they do talk about the differences a little bit. So let me just get through. This one's a, a longer one that they <laughs> that they wrote up, but let me see if I can get to what I was looking at. Um, they looked at uh, different things: the angle of trunk rotation. They looked at the Cobb angle. They looked at uh, the the quality of life. So, as we go through and we look at their conclusion, their conclusion is interesting. It says the present study indicated that Schroth exercises are more effective in reducing Cobb angle and ATR, angle of trunk rotation of the main curve, and in improving spinal mobility and quality of life in patients with mild AIS, or adolescent idiopathic scoliosis, than are core stabilization exercises. While core stabilization exercises are more effective than Schroth exercises in the improvement of peripheral muscle strength. So that shouldn't surprise us. The core strengthening ones improve muscle strength peripherally more. Um, so in my opinion, what this article tells us is we should be using both. If we're looking at having changes in the Cobb angle, if we're looking at changes 
in ATR, we're looking at changes in quality of life, uh, we should be using the Schroth method or some other PSSE specific exercise uh, protocol. If we are looking for improving strength, which I think especially with kids that are braced, we should be, uh, then, then we should be using a, a core strengthening protocol in conjunction with it. Here at Align Therapy, we use core strengthening combined with our Schroth method or C's approach exercises. And I find better results with this. If someone can, if someone has more strength, they're able to hold the corrections better. If they have um, better correction, they're able to strengthen those muscles better. So I think uh, there's a lot of a lot of overlap that we can do with this. Uh, it's not just either doing Schroth method or doing core strengthening. It, the most effective, and, and according to, to this um, and their analysis, the most effective for affecting the curve is the Schroth method, but we shouldn't neglect the, the muscle strength as well. So I think sometimes we're, we're looking at these um, in, in separate categories, but I think we should be combining those things. I think one reason that this was looked at was to see whether or not general physical therapy with strengthening can be effective in treating scoliosis. It does have an effect on scoliosis, but not as much of an effect as if we're actually treating specifically the curve. So uh, that's a huge takeaway for me. The, if, if you have someone with scoliosis and you want to affect the curve, you need to be using a specialized treatment technique to do that. It can't just be strengthening the core because that's not going to, it's not going to affect the, the scoliosis curve as much. So big takeaway is if you, if you have scoliosis and you're looking for treatment, find a provider who is specialized in a PSSE technique, a physiotherapeutic scoliosis specific exercise technique, like the Schroth method, like the C's approach, like uh, some of the other methods that are out there uh, from Europe and um, you'll get better results with that. And combine that with core strengthening and we get an additive effect. And the more stable we get, the better quality of life we have and the more we stabilize that curve. So yeah, that's the big takeaway for me as a therapist. We need to combine those two. I don't want to neglect the strength aspect of things. So hopefully that was helpful. If you're looking for scoliosis specific exercise treatment, um, I would suggest looking at the Schroth method and the C's approach. Those are the two that we use here at Align Therapy here in Lehigh, Utah. And uh, hopefully you get the treatment that you need. Subscribe to our channel. We try and put out good information that's out there about uh, scoliosis treatment and how you can help affect your own curve. So I appreciate you watching. I hope you have a good day.